What up, G Life? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free. You know, they don't cost a damn thing. You know, join the G Life. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Man of Society MOD, where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, apparently, since, you know, the whole band's, you know, video and all of that, you know, everyone's been in their feelings and, you know, have been coming to me and, you know, asking this, this, and that, right? And I have a. I have a couple of side. I have a couple of individuals on both sides in their feelings, right? I don't understand why. These are merely my opinions. That's it. I can only speak in behalf of myself. Now, I'm gonna speak on two things, right? One that the Northerners are upset about, and one that the Southerners are upset about, right? You know, first we'll get to the Northerner one, right? Which was about the whole bands thing, right? I was on, you know, Frank's Vibes channel. You know, for those who don't know, go subscribe to Frank's Vibes channel. You know what I mean? Um, he always drops, you know, Chingon content, you know, um, Kelly Media, you know, go scope him out, go subscribe and all that, right? I was on his live and in my personal opinion, I was asked, right? And I'm just giving my, this is just what my thoughts, right? Was... What do I, what do I, what do, what do I think that, you know, Bands was there chilling in his neighborhood for a long time. And then just in my opinion, and just in my opinion, I gave what I think, you know, how the video went down when it comes to filming the video. Now, I didn't say that these are facts. I said that this is what I think in my opinions, right? I said that I believe the trailer park scene when he's in the trailer parks was filmed like at six or seven in the morning. Now, that's not to hate on Bands or nothing like that. You know, I'm not looking to discredit him, and it still took us to do that, and, and you know, I'm not taking nothing away from him. The only reason why I say that it, that it happened at that time is I observe, you know, I'm someone that pays attention to when it comes to something, especially something visual, right? So while other people may focus, you know, on this and that, my attention is always, you know, towards the background of things, you know? I'm just somebody that likes to observe stuff, right? And if you look at the sky, the way the sky is, you know, judging by the color of the sky when it comes to sunrise, those who understand how sunrise looks, I mean, it's science. <laughs> you know, I believe that it's that time. Now, why, don't, why do I think it's sunrise and not sunset? Because if you look at the background, all the vehicles are parked there. You get what I mean? And there's nobody outside. And not even is there nobody outside, but there's no movement. You know, like in all those, you know, homes that are right there, there's no movement, meaning everyone's asleep and the, all the vehicles are there yet are there because no one's going. No one has gone to work yet. You know, that's the only reason why I believe it took place at that time, because there's absolutely no movement whatsoever. Not even like birds are flying, no kids running outside and, you know, maybe somebody in the window. Like if you pay attention to other videos, you see movement in the background, but here there's no movement. But they're showing all the homes. You see the video showing all the homes, but there's no movement. You know, there's no activity. Now, I'm not saying by gang members, but not even by like just regular day folks. That's why I believe it took place that early. Now, that doesn't mean that the whole video took place that early. I believe that that scene took place, you know, around that time. And I believe the dead end scene and the like where he's at the park, like that little bridge park thing. I believe that took place roughly like around 10 or 11, judging by how the sunlight where it's hitting and how the shadows, if you look at the shadows, I know people are like, damn, brother, this fool's dissecting the video. Bro, I just can't help it. You know what I mean? I'm just a person who who just does that. You know, I'm just somebody who, who's, who's somebody who observes, you know, I look for clues, you know, throughout throughout the area. You know, that's not to discredit people, but just to, you know, roughly get an idea of the individual's uh, mentality, you know, when he went to go to the video, you know, and judging by how shadows work and, you know, the, the angle of the sun, you know, I believe it took place roughly at that time. Not only that, but there is also no activity like in the park scene. There's no kids at the park. There's no people have to understand L.A. And I used to work in Baldwin Park, so I know this. These areas are jam-packed full of people. People don't understand how many people there is in Los Angeles, bro. When I mean that it's fucking overpacked, I mean it's overpacked, bro. I mean there's fucking people everywhere. every Kids everywhere. Everyone has like 30 kids, bro. You get what I mean? So you're never gonna find a park that's empty, bro. The parks are always gonna be up the ass full of people. The only time that they're not is in the mornings. You know, those who have kids understand what I'm talking about. Right? And if you look at the background, there's no kids walking or nothing like that, right? 
and when they're sitting down on the thing, look at where their shadows are at and the angle of the sunlight hitting the brick wall. You can tell that it's roughly like around 10 ish and stuff like that. And I believe the liquor store scene and all the, and the bank, when they're at the bank, that took place like roughly like around 11 ish, too. You know? And, you know, that's just, you know, I feel like that's the timeline of the video. Now, that's not to discredit because he still did that. He still tagged. He still did that. It still counts. You know, so there's no no excuses. That was merely just my opinion on what I what I think the time frame of the video. Plus, he also, you know, has a long drive back home. <laughs> you get what I mean? So I believe that that was the timeline of the video. Now, I'm not calling this that this is facts. This is merely by going and observing how the sunlight works and, you know, judging by background. That is just my opinion. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, that's just how stuff works, you know? <laughs> if people pay attention. I get it. People were probably just paying attention to the lyrics and, and just the fact that he did that, right? But clues, there's clues in everything. Everything will tell you about a situation, bro. Like, you know, the individual might say something, but the the um, the the area, the whole entire scene itself will give you clues and hints of, you know, that's how detectives know exactly when somebody did something, right? The 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 guy that's telling them the story could potentially be lying, but judging based off of the video cameras they got and, you know, example, that's how they knew, you know, Nipsey Shooter, you know, the, the roughly around the time because of the angles of the shadows, you know? For those who are, who are not, you know, familiar with the case, go read up on the case or there's even videos if you want, you can go check those out. That's how they figured out that, that he was lying about the time. Same how it works right here, bro. You know, science doesn't lie, bro. The facts don't lie, you know. People may tell a different story, but how science works is not, you know, and human behavior, you know, human and overall how how they, you know, you know, tend to do things, right? So he may be filming a video, but that's not going to stop people from doing their everyday things right there in the trailer, especially a trailer park. You're always going to have kids running outside and everything like that, bro. You're always going to have activities in a trailer, bro. You get what I mean? You know, I don't know if people have ever been to a trailer park, but there's always activities. Now, the others, the one that got the southern ones, man, is when I said, I decided to entertain the, the thing, right, when they're saying that people shouldn't trust Gold Toes. Gold Toes is playing everybody like a fool. Gold Toes is secretly, you know, doing this and that. Okay. Let's say Gotos is doing all this, right? I'm going to play along. Gotos is doing this. This is his plan. He, he's looking to play the homies and he's tricking everybody. Okay? Then what is Gotos' plan then? Let's say if Gotos really is doing this and stuff like that. What exactly is Gotos' plan? I'd be telling people. And they tell me, well, he's looking to take over. Take over what? People are acting like if the homies have done something, the homies can't even get on the radio station. We're still arguing and complaining about why isn't Chicano rap accepted and why haven't why hasn't no Chicano rapper made it yet? We're still making these arguments and defending these individuals, saying that the you know these people need to mess with their music and they need to you know you know um, support the homies. So the homies haven't breached that gap yet. So what is Goto's gonna take over? Something that the homies haven't even accomplished yet. Oh, no, no, it's, it's because, you know, he wants, you know, for them to come over here and now, you know, start filming videos and making the homies look weak or stupid. Like, so Goto's now has the power to stop individuals from rolling up if these fools are filming? That doesn't even make any sense, bro. So Goto's has the ability now to, to, to stop people from where they're filming. Oh, no, it's because, you know, the, 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 the Northerners are looking to come and establish over here. Establish what? So Goto's now has the power to make people move, leave their residence? So to move out. They, he has the power now to make people move out and relocate. People have to understand how it works, how they're Southerners upstate. Want to know why there's upstaters? Because we started 30 years before the, the Norteños did. That's how. Northern, uh, Northern California was brand new and, you know, the work was starting to improve over there. You know, more jobs were starting to be created. So they started building new towns, meaning new cheaper homes, meaning a lot of families from here moved over there because it was cheaper bringing their mentality over there. We started 30 years before they did. So there was no Northerners over there. So that's how you are able to get Southern neighborhoods over there. We got a head start. That's how. Everything's already established here, so I don't see how that would be possible. Unless Gotos has the power to buy these blocks and then make everybody move and bring a bunch of Northerners over here. Like, 
like, just give some thought to what these people are saying, and it makes no sense whatsoever, bro. I'm, I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt to individuals, but it's like, you know, when I'm having these discussions, like, yeah, but what is he going to take over? What exactly is his grand plan, his grand master scheme, though? Because what you're telling me is not making any sense. Because it doesn't. Just give it some thought. What is he going to take over? What is he looking to actually accomplish? Oh, he's looking to, you know, take over the homies' business and money. They're making money together. What are you talking about? You're just mad because they're over here. You know what I mean? There's no other way to slice it. Tell me I'm wrong. Give me a good good explanation in the comments, bro. I'm not, maybe, maybe you might get me to see it from your point of view. Maybe I'll be like, damn, bro, I didn't even think about that, homie. You right. I'm able to admit when I'm wrong. But when somebody comes and actually makes me, gives me a valid reason. Because right now all I'm hearing is a bunch of stuff that makes absolutely no sense with just a little bit of thought. So I don't mean to discredit neither side or to, you know, come and, you know, you know, discredit, you know, these people or that people. Bro, I could only call the facts. You may not like them, but facts are facts, bro. You hate it or love it. Truth is the truth. Can't be mad at that. I'm just saying, what are your thoughts? Leave in the comments. Shadow, we are.